First question is, there's a sign behind your shoulder. What do you think it's about? Uh... You can read it. It seems to be about uh, helping people who need... I'm actually not entirely sure what it's about. Okay, it's the Safe Haven Law, yeah. which is in all 50 states. I'll help you out, don't worry. Okay, thank you. It's in all 50 states, it's if you have a newborn baby, you're hiding your pregnancy. You're not doing it, but you have one of the No, I'm not hiding. <laughs> not this time. And you may have heard the story. You hide your pregnancy and you find a newborn found abandoned someplace, you know, yeah. dumpster, garbage can. There was a baby found in a garbage bag in a dormitory at UMass like 4, 14 years ago. So the laws were passed to help stop that. Yeah. And it's it's working in different places and not working as well in different so the real key is, if you know about that, yeah. what we're looking at the most is, what's the best way to promote that to people in, say, you know, your generation from obviously 12 to 34, young women, and yeah. young men that may get called in and say, hey, what am I supposed to do with this? is happening. What's the best way to communicate yeah, what's that? What's the best way to communicate this kind of law and this kind of information to them? Like the hotlines and the websites that have the information, obviously. I don't know. I mean, like, I've, I, I've, knew, I've known about this, like, I'm... I'm a history minor, and so, like, there, we studied a lot of, like, Catholic, like, church was originally, like, the people that kind of came up with this idea a um, while ago, but then, like, I haven't heard about any of this in, in years, and so I wonder if, like, um, maybe the way that this is being marketed, that this is an option, isn't be, isn't as effective as... Um, well, that's our problem. It's not being as effective yeah. in some places. And there's kind of two camps of the way to promote it, yeah. the different groups that are doing it. Yeah. We have a group here in Massachusetts. We use, you know, 18 or 15 year old to like 26, 27 year old yeah. young women who are kind of like singing stars, pop stars, something that gets the attention first of a young person. Yeah. Then they convey the simple information. Obviously, if they get in trouble, yeah. then they call the hotline and there's older people answering it, but they kind of understand that. Then there's another group that just uses the people in my generation. They go out and they try to do all the promoting. So which do you think is better to try to the young people serve? Probably the the having the pop star right. do be, that. It could be like a good swimmer, like yeah. a friend. Yeah. Um, you know, young meteorologist because they yeah. do radio, TV, that kind of thing. That's think? probably a better way of getting to at least my generation than, than going out and trying to communicate that. And yeah, and just in general. social media and everything. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Obviously you're not, so you think that who's going to, who, out of that group, say, 12, 34 young people or 40 to 60 year old young people, which is the one that first is going to get your attention and then B, you're going to listen to at least initially to get the information? What would you say? Probably the younger, the younger demographic. Okay. And then yeah. if you obviously need help, you turn to the older. Yeah. yeah. Because you know that. Yeah. The hotline's not going to be answered by 40. Right. Well, it's, I'm, it, yeah. it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be that I wouldn't listen to an older, a person, it should just be, I interact with those people. So like I would be, I don't know. I guess more receptive, That's maybe not. Getting. Yeah. First you get yeah. Attention, then you yeah. Listen. It's more like listening to a peer and then like, oh. And the uh, thing falls over. All right. That's okay.